Hello everyone, it's Sally here and apologies for the lateness of this thought. This morning, very simply, I would like to share some verses with you from Isaiah 55 with three very simple invitations uh, which God extends to all of us. I'm going to read the passage and give us some time to reflect on what it says. Come, all you who are thirsty, come to the waters. And you who have no money, come, buy and eat. Come, buy wine and milk without money and without cost. Why spend money on what is not bread and your labour on what does not satisfy? So the first thing that God invites us to do is to come. If we're in any kind of need, and I'm sure that includes all of us, it includes the thirsty, it includes the poor in whatever sense, and it includes those who are looking for meaning and purpose in their life. He says, come, come to the waters, come by and eat, come to me. And it goes on, listen, listen to me and eat what is good and you will delight in the richest of fare. Give ear and come to me, listen that you may live. I will make an everlasting covenant with you, my faithful love promised to David. So the second invitation is to listen, to listen to God. And he says that if we listen, we will find life. Listen that you may live. He is the true source of life and meaning. And if we listen to him, uh, we will have the best, best kind of life. So that's the second invitation. Come and listen. Let's take time to listen to him. And then it goes on, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them turn to the Lord and he will have mercy on them and to our God for he will freely pardon. So the third invitation is to seek, seek the Lord. And we know from later on in the New Testament, that whoever seeks will find, whoever asks will receive an answer. Why? Because God is near. He is not far from any of us. And these words encourage us to call on him because he is near. He will have mercy. He will respond and he will freely pardon. And as I read these words the other morning, I just felt so encouraged by this very simple invitation that God extends to us each day and throughout each day to come to him, to listen to him, to seek him, because we know that he is a God who always welcomes, uh, who always wants to spend time with us and wants to be found because he is near. So I hope you are encouraged by those words too. Let's pray together as we finish. Father, we thank you that these words written thousands of years ago are still so relevant and so important for us as your children today. And Lord, we thank you that you are a God who longs for relationship with your children and that you say to us each day, come, come to me, be with me. You invite us to listen to you, just as you listen to us, you want us to listen to you. It's a two way relationship. And Lord, you invite us to seek you. Because we know that when we seek, we will find, we will find truth, we will find hope, we will find purpose. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Thank you that you welcome us into your presence. And Lord, we pray that you would go with us into the rest of this day as we come to you, as we listen to you and as we seek you. We ask this in Jesus name. Amen. Have a great rest of the day and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.